Hi, my name is John, and welcome to the Zeros Ones YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install or set up WordPress using a one and one hosting Linux Basic web hosting package. So, to start out, the way I do it, I first go and I go to uh, Google, Google and type in WordPress and then head over to the WordPress.org website and download the latest version of WordPress. And I've already done that here on my desktop. Now, once I've done that, I want to create, this will be like the first time you've installed to a new hosting package. So I need, you need to create the database the MySQL database for the WordPress. So what you want to do next is go on over and log into your one in one hosting account. And you're gonna when you log in, you're gonna be taken to the control panel. Once there, you want to scroll down and find uh, manage web space MySQL database. So we'll click on that. And what we need to do is create a new database. So we'll press, click on New Database. And it wants a description so you can identify the database. For this purposes, this is going to be a demonstration. So I'm just going to put Demo and the password. Um, this should be a pretty strong password. Now again, this is just going to be a demonstration, so I'm going to delete all this after I create this video. So I'm going to type in a password. And retype it in. OK. Well, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a different password. Let me do this. Um, I'm getting screwed up here. So I'm going to, I have a um, WordPad open here, or a Notepad, and I'm going to write this password down. This is the DB password, and it is OK. And again, it doesn't matter if you guys see this. This is all going to be deleted anyway by the time this is published. So we're going to click on Setup. Oops. Password is too short. Ah, OK. Well, let's add a few. Let's add some more characters. OK. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How about that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll change this to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, There we go. All right, let's click Setup. OK. And actually, we're all set here. This is going to take a few minutes for them to set up the database. So we actually can just minimize this window. Or right, here, go to overview. Oh, no, wait, sorry. We need to get this information here. We'll need this to set up the connection from WordPress to this database. So let me just grab this information. I'm going to highlight and Control-C to copy it. And then 
paste it in over here on Notepad. All right, now you can go to Overview. And they're working on the database. So we're going to just minimize this. OK. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to start working on the WordPress side of this. So we have the WordPress zip folder right here. We need to extract or expand this unzip it. So in order to do that, right click on the WordPress and then extract all. And once you're here, I'm going to put it just on my desktop. So I'm going to go and browse and go to desktop. And that's where I want it. It'll create a folder that says WordPress. So I'm going to put it right on my desktop. So I'm going to click OK. And then that's where it's going. And we're going to click Extract. Okay, this is going to take a couple minutes to do. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back once it's closer to being done. All right, we're just about done extracting it. And we're done and created the folder. Here it is. This is what we need. So we'll click on that, open this up, and here's our, our WordPress that's been unzipped. So now what we need to do, we need to edit this file, this wp-config-sample.php. So we'll come in here, and I'm going to be using to, in order to edit this file, I'm using Notepad++. So I'm going to right click on the file, and then edit with Notepad. And here we are. Okay. Now what we need to do is get this information in here. This is going to this this file tells WordPress where to look for the database. So, first thing, database name we need that. So we look over here, database name, this one. I'm going to control, copy, control C to copy, and come over here to the database name area entry. Highlight that. You want to place it in between these two marks. So just right in there, highlight, and then control V to paste. There it is. Next, we need the username in here, username, control C, highlight, then control C, username goes in here, and control V to paste. Now, the password, remember this one when we set up the database, this password, okay. Highlight it, control C to copy, password comes in here, control V to paste. Now we need to change the local host. And over here, the host name. This is what we need right here. Control C to copy. Let's select host, local host, control V to paste. And there you go. Just take a quick look. That all looks good. Also, one little thing. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to tell you about it. If you're doing this on a live site and you're really in production, what you want to do is come down here and look at this. In here, you go to this site right here. Put this copy and paste this into a browser and go to this site and hit re refresh multiple times so you know you get a fresh code. And what you want to do is come in, come back to this file and select this code here and delete it. 
and delete it and then go and to that website and copy that code and paste it in here with fresh keys and then when you upload that then you upload that into the WordPress that's just a little a little something extra so I'll put that back in there for now alright so we want to save this configuration so I'm gonna click Save and that's been saved alrighty we're done with this we can close now, we also need to rename this file from wp-config-sample.php. We need to get it just get rid of sample and the one hyphen. So it reads wp-config.php. All right, so now we've renamed that file. So that's good. And the next thing we want to do, you can actually can close this. Next thing we want to do is get this WordPress up to the server. And I'm going to FTP that over using FileZilla. So let's start to do that. Okay, I'm going to close this window and I'm going to open up. I already have FileZilla configured to get to log into my FTP server, the, the one in one hosting FTP server for my website. And that information's in your account, so look for those configuration settings and put them in, put those into FileZilla. So I've already here I've launched FileZilla. Once it's been launched, you want to come over here to Site Manager, open that. And if you have multiple domains, find the domain you want to connect to. And then click on Connect. And you'll get this little button. That's fine. Click OK. All right. If you're coming in here for the first time on one in one hosting, you'll find a, maybe a couple files in here, an index file, you know, just a temporary one in it. I've already I put this robots in here. But anyways, what you'd want to do is delete any files that are in here except the logs files. You want to leave that in, and this is your root folder, so don't touch those two. You can get rid of everything else in there. So now we have to move. This is our server side of FileZilla, and this is the local side. So now we need to find our desktop. So I'm going to come over here, desktop. Click on desktop. And so we clicked on desktop, and here we go. WordPress. So I'm going to click on WordPress, and here's all the WordPress files. So we want to select the the first one, not this, just the, this is your root folder, so we leave that alone. But here, starting with WP Admin, let me expand this up a little bit. All right, and then press Shift on your keyboard and, and select the last file. There you go. And now we just need to click on this and drag it over here to the server and release. That's going to upload to the server. Now, this might take a couple minutes, so I'm again pause the video until this is closer to the end, and I'll come back. All right, see you soon. All right, we're just about done. There we go. Transfers finished. It all looks good. So, we want to come up here to the server, disconnect from server. Disconnect, click on that. All right, server, we can close FileZilla. All right. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is open up a browser and type in the domain name you're setting up. Once you've done that, hit Enter. And this is what you want to see. 
This tells us we're communicating with the database. It's looking good. So select your language. Mine's English. Click Continue. Now here we need to fill out this information. The site title, the name of the website, like the domain name. You put that in here. The username. This you're creating the administrative account right now, the administrator account that has administrative priv privileges. You can name it anything. You can, you know, administ I wouldn't call it administrator, but I would, you know, again, that's up to you, but you are creating an administrator account here. And the password, a strong password I would recommend for an in-production live site, absolutely. And then a valid email address. This is how WordPress is going to contact you if someone leaves a comment or if there's a problem or if there's an update that needs to, that's been performed or needs to be performed. Any kind of communication will use this, this uh, email address. So make sure that's a valid and an email address you check often. And then here where you can select search engine visibility. Um, if it's a live site and you want to start being listed in search, you want to leave this unchecked. If you're still developing this site, I would recommend to discourage until you're ready, until the site's ready to be promoted, basically, is what you're doing. All right? So I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to fill out this information with my settings, and then I'm going to press Install, and I'll be back. All right? I'm going to pause for you. I'll be right back. One other thing, just so you know, this username and password, these are the username and password you're going to use to log into the website to administrate it into the WordPress, all right? So you want to make sure that you copy these somewhere and so you, you can remember them. You know, keep a copy of them so in case you forget, you know what your username and password is to log into your WordPress to do any edits and to create the site, all right? So again, I'm going to pause the video and then uh, we'll be back. So after you click install WordPress, this is the page you're going to see and it's going to tell you everything's good. So there's your username. I used admin again. This is just a demonstration. And my password's my chosen password. So now we want to log into the site. Let's see how it goes. Click on login, username, admin, my password. And log in. Click enter. And there we are. We're in our WordPress. It wasn't so bad, was it? Uh, well, let's just take a quick, quick look at the site. Make sure there it is. Just the plain Jane basic. Plain Jane basic WordPress. Now the fun begins. Creativity and content. All right, that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful, and thanks for stopping by.